If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, comment, suggestion, or maybe you just want to find out more information about the product, you can find the link below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds for 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Anzad XTH 440 case. This is a mid-tower case that measures in at 220 by 510 by 475.3 millimeters and weighs 9.75 kilograms. That's good to get a case like this under 10 kilograms because it has quality thick steel that will keep the case nice and rigid Plus, they include acoustic dampening material, which I'll show you in just a minute. Now, it comes in two different color options. This glossy white, as well as a matte black and gloss red combination. Now, of course, this case is mainly comprised of steel, but there's plastic as well as mesh all around it. Note that they have mesh here, which is for ventilation on the left as well as at the back. And this top panel can be removed by pulling at the back. So just lift up here at the back. And once you do that, it comes right off. Note the large piece of acoustic dampening material at the top. At the top, you can install two optional 140 millimeter fans or up to three optional 120 millimeter fans. And note how they have these slotted so you can actually reposition the fan a little bit if you need to or for that matter the radiator as well they have cable management holes here at the top right at the top front on the left is the power button as well as the power LED reset button and on the right you've got a headphone jack microphone jack two USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports now this isn't a door on the front this is actually the front panel but where is the five and a quarter inch drive base well there isn't any is that a big deal no not really these days because well a lot of people don't use them anymore however if you do it's certainly going to be a limiting factor like for example maybe you want to have a dvd drive a combo drive or maybe a fan controller or something along those lines on the right hand side you've got mesh here as well as a hole on the bottom and this will allow the front fans to intake cool air now this front panel can be easily removed by pulling at the bottom and notice that they have a big slab here of acoustic dampening material at the front a removable dust filter by the way at the top this is held into place with magnets but on the bottom they've got a little groove section here where this dust filter kind of fits into that's quite nice because it's really not going anywhere and it's super easy to remove and install back again note that they include three 120 millimeter fans and these intake cool air alternatively you can install up to two 140 millimeter fans and of course you've got radiator options here at the front you can go with any combination really of up to three by 120 or two by 140 rads and pretty much will fit any standard radiators that are on the market now i'm talking about the ones typically that are for custom water cooling but it should fit a lot of the alcs or advanced liquid cooler rads as well oh and notice the cable management holes here at the front as well on the left side panel they've got a large window but the right side panel is plain at the back of the case they include a 140 millimeter exhaust fan but alternatively you could install a 120 millimeter fan and again note the grooves or slots where the screw holes are that's for repositioning either the fan or the radiators now I should note as well that all of the fans that they include in this case are actually FN V2 fans. Here's where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed. They include seven ventilated expansion slots, extra ventilation here, as well as two large rubber grommeted holes to route cables and or water cooling tubes through. At the bottom is where a standard ATX power supply gets installed. Note the included power supply bracket. You'll remove this bracket, then mount it to the power supply, and then slide everything into the case. As well, the thumb screws that they include all the way around 
on this bracket as well as on the side panels have rubber washers on them and this is to prevent the screws from scratching the case but also to cut down on vibrations and they include a removable dust filter at the bottom which is for the power supplies intake fan as well they include two thumb screws on each side panel now each of these side panel thumb screws actually don't come all the way out and that's the way that they are designed you can just remove them like so they kind of just hang there which is good because you won't lose them you know where they are they're on the side panels and once you've removed the other one you just slide the panel back and take it right off now this is a neat touch they have a couple of leds here at the back one just on top of where the motherboard's io shield plate gets installed and another just above the expansion slots and at the back top left is a switch for turning the leds on and off they even have a strip of acoustic dampening material on the left windowed side panel inside the case they have have this accessory box and in it a pamphlet but no user's manual and I suspect that's because this was a review sample so I'm sure that they will be shipping user's manuals to customers in the bag here they include cable ties screws and a case badge this case fits mini ITX micro ATX and standard ATX form factor motherboards and as you can see there's a fair amount of room to work on the inside unfortunately though the motherboard tray is not removable but they have have a huge hole on it and that's for the coolers retention plate as well as plenty of cable management holes and some of these have rubber grommets on them now they have this compartment at the bottom of the case and this is where the power supply gets installed they have plenty of cable management holes and you will need them because you will be tucking lots of cables down here and really the whole idea with this is to cut down on that cable mess and make the inside of the case look clean they've got a nice logo accent piece here and this actually glows you can install two two and a half inch drives at the top these just slide off first you'll need to remove the thumb screw as well you can fit up to six more two and a half inch drives or up to six three and a half inch drives there isn't a toolless design on the expansion slots but thumb screws are just as good now video card length will vary it depends on whether you have the hard drive cages installed or not with them installed you can have a video card that is up to 294 millimeters in length but with the hard drive cage removed you can have a video card that's up to 406.2 millimeters in length and the cooler height is 180 millimeters the right side panel also has acoustic dampening material and now have a look behind the motherboard tray as I mentioned before there are lots of cable management holes on the motherboard tray as well as as punch out so you can organize lots of cables back here now as for space behind the motherboard tray well at the lowest point it is 17.7 millimeters but at the highest point it is 32.5 millimeters they have this little LED module at the top on the left is the power in and on the right are all the outs the bottom one here is to the switch and the other two to the LEDs and the LEDs that I'm referring to of course are the ones at the back of the case and also the logo LED now this is a power board for up to 10 three pin fans you can connect five on either side now there are five drive cages and each one of these you can either install a three and a half inch or two and a half inch drive on they are steel very very sturdy to remove them just take off two thumb screws slide it out install the drive and push it back in installation is not a toolless design you will need to use the included screws and note that they have rubber grommets here for installing the three and a half inch drives that's to cut down on vibrations now in fact these drive cages don't slide in and out but rather they hook at the back and I like that because what it means is it frees up the front of the case instead of having rails there to slide these drive cages in and out it will give you lots of space and freedom especially if you're installing a large radiator like for example I can take this one out it doesn't slide in a rather kind of goes all over the place but all you need to do is line it up at the back it will go right into position let me take out this one as well get a better idea 
what looks like with a few of them removed so you can see that it frees up everything here. You've also got an option to install a two and a half inch or three and a half inch drive at the very bottom of the case. At the bottom there are four feet and each one of these has rubber on it. Now these feet are rather tall. This is excellent because it will keep the case up off of a soft surface like carpet and allow the bottom power supplies fan to intake cool air. Now just have a look at these LEDs. Again you've got two on the back and the logo LED. Let me turn them off and you can easily turn them on. Finally, have a listen to the four included fans. Remember, you've got three 120 millimeter intake fans at the front and another 140 millimeter exhaust fan at the back. They are all really quiet. Now, despite the fact that they don't have any five and a quarter inch drive bays in this case, I think they've pretty much nailed it. I love the overall styling. The build quality is excellent. It's loaded full of fantastic features. You've got acoustic dampening material on the inside. You can have all kinds of different, you know, radiator options, either on the top, the front, the back, or all of the above. I think it would be an amazing water cooling case. And remember, it comes in this white color, plus also the matte black and gloss red combination. This is pretty much a win-win case, again, as long as you don't need any five and a quarter inch drive base. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. How do you think this product stacks up? To vote, head on over to 3dgameman.com and while you're there, check out the pricing.